Hey everybody, it's Abandoned Brian and Amber coming at you today. We're gonna check out this abandoned grist mill house today. Uh, I believe, anyway, I believe it went along with this grist mill that sits right here. Anyway, we're gonna check it out. If you guys wanna check it out with me, you're more than welcome to. Come on, let's go see what's inside. All right, so here's the grist mill. And then the house sits right behind it. See up here on the hill? And that is why I believe the two go together. And it's definitely a really, really old house. Guess we might as well start here in the basement. Looks like it's just a half basement down here. You can see the old stone foundation now. Tells me it's pretty old. You can see this old fuse. Oh, these old the round fuses. That's pretty cool. Furnace looks brand new. Not much to see here. We'll head on upstairs. Boy, the floor is really rotting away here. Looks like somebody's come through and busted pretty much every one of the windows out. Little bathroom. That's a pretty cool rounded mirror there. Got the old latch on the door. Looks like you just got a regular pantry here. I love these old locks though, the old latches. Can of Crisco in there. Old Crisco. There's more of that electric box with the old fuses. Old round guys, it's pretty cool. This is pretty cool here, you got this Little tiny door left the shelves in the way you can't open it anymore. But it looks like it has a set of steps here. I'm gonna squeeze in there. This is freaking crazy. It's almost like a set of steps going straight up. Yep. This is really cool. Stay there, Amber. Very cool. I think this is the back entrance. I'm going to go down here so Amber don't freak out and I think we'll come up the other way. Uh, this is a window on the other side. It has two windows here. And here's where I came up. This is where I'm going down to get Amber because she's freaking out. Man, that's steep. It's straight down. Amber, stay girl. Alright, so we're heading on out into the main family room, I guess. really cool. See the roof's got a lot of decay going on there. Tell you what, I love this fireplace though. Check this guy out. Very nice. Alright, heading on out to the I guess this is the main stairway. Amber has already headed upstairs. She's already up there. 
This would be the stairs going up. While we're down here, we might as well go ahead and go in this room. Look how short this door is. Well, now I ain't gonna show you anything. Let me turn the camera down. So yeah, this doorway is very short. All right, so you can see somebody's tried to board up these um, windows, but someone's come through and pretty much destroyed all of them. Every window in the house has been knocked out. Love that fireplace. And it doesn't seem like anybody's, you know, they've kind of given up on it, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Look at this old gun cabinet, that's really nice. And this has got another, it would have been a sunroom. You can see all the windows that were boarded up. And from the outside, they're all busted. But this would have been a really nice sunroom in here. And the floor is given out underneath me. But yeah, we got a bathroom over there. Got a piece of plywood in my way here. That's why I'm not over there. I'll see if we can get around to the other side. So yeah, this would have been that bathroom. We got sink over here with the window. Kind of neat. Um, it looks like they left a lot of books here along the stairway. You can see. All right, we'll head on upstairs now. kind of weird but yeah you have this I guess they come along later and put the furnace see the logs on the house that's pretty cool so this is a log home I'm sorry I got distracted uh, you can see where they come through later and put the electric in but this was a staircase going to the attic boy you can see the decay right there already let me go see if I can take a better picture of the attic then we'll come back All kinds of stuff up here. Looks like a bowling ball case, leather, pretty cool. Bunch of old doors with the old latches there. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Just like extras. Amber, don't come up here, baby. You have to turn around and go back. All right, let's go through the rest of the upstairs there. All right, so then straight on up the stairs there would have been, oh, that's a shame. Looks like somebody's kicking out the walls for copper. Anyway, all up, straight up the stairs would have been the bathroom. I think my mom and dad had that exact same color bathtub when I was a kid. sink yeah. and so it would have had two bathrooms here side by side you come in this door to this bathroom and then you go like straight across from it is a another bathroom so you got another toilet another sink and another bathtub so that's kind of cool I'll back up here so you can see what I'm talking about but from straight up the steps you got a bathroom here and then you got a bathroom here. It's pretty neat. All right, so I want up another set of three, couple three steps here. All right. It's pretty neat. Oh, that glass is colonial glass. This place is old. I don't know if I can get that wave in there or not. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh. You know how I feel about fireplaces. And we got one upstairs. Nice big closet. 
Windows all busted out. Here's my upstairs fireplace. Very nice. All brick. Got some decay coming in on the ceiling right there. Already. I don't think this place has been abandoned for that awful long. Apparently long enough though. So on over here. This place is really big. All hardwood floors too. Got some little bit of mold here, not much, but a little bit coming in. More of them old latches. Closet. All right, so earlier on in the beginning of that video, I came up that little tiny set of steps where Amber was freaking out on me. That's where we're heading to now. More hardwood floors. Wow, this is really cool. I'm gonna have to take you a picture of this. Let me turn the camera around so you can see how short this door is. So yeah, this doorway is really short. And then it goes down two steps into the next room. And then this is the room where I came up them steps right there where Amber's at. That's where them things go straight down. Look, I'll show you. I mean, they go straight down. That's where we come up the first time. You can see it used to have the old um, radiating heat, so it must have had a boiler at some point. I have a feeling this house um, goes along with the grist mill that's way across the road from this. Here's that doorway from the other side. You can see it goes clear up to the peak of the roof. Pretty cool. So let me see, what have we missed? Have we missed anything? That might be it, guys. Gotta take some pictures from the outside. Um, there is a couple tractors out here. So we'll take a peek at them. And that might be it for the video. Oh, I didn't get this. I guess this would have been the entryway for the front house. You can see where it's all boarded up. There's an old acetylene torch it looks like. doorway really love them old windows you know back in the day they had to let as much natural light into a place as they could so if you guys are liking what you're seeing hit that like button and if you want to see more uh, please subscribe to my channel always need subscribers Cracker Jack 100 year anniversary. So this is kind of different. On the outside of the house around back here, it's got this little, I don't know, almost shed if you will, hooked to the house, but you can't access it from the inside of the house. You can see up there the shingles from the old roof, so it was definitely an add-on. But it's kind of cool. Also got this little garage over here. We'll see if there's anything inside. So it looks like this was probably uh, some sort of animal pen. I'm not sure if they had chickens or what, but probably the one side was for food. And then probably the other side was for the animals. You can see the dividing fence there. And then it would have had a pen over here. And then a pin on the other side. It could have been dogs, maybe. It could have, it's hard to tell. It was a pin for something. Pretty nice one, too. Back side of the house. 
down there is one of those. It's actually a backhoe we're going to take a look at here in a minute. There's the Potomac River. And there's my dog. Right behind the place out here in the backyard, it's got this really nice uh, barbecue grill. Check this thing out. All this massive stonework. I thought it was a old fireplace at first. But you can see it's a you know an outdoor grill. Really nice. Yep. This is one of the tractors. And then we have a backhoe on the other side. You can see these windows just all destroyed. Never did understand why people do that. This would have been what I was calling that sunroom from the inside. Look at all these windows, just everyone busted out. What a shame. And it's worse when you get to the back side of the house, I guess this is the most private side. They're just all destroyed. And then last but not least is this cool little backhoe. What a shame, beautiful house.